Today we're exploring a role that's quickly becoming the linchpin of innovation in healthcare. The Chief AI Officer or CAIO. Now you might be thinking, another C-suite title, really? But trust me, this isn't just a, a corporate jargon extra title, if you like. The CAIO is revolutionizing how we approach healthcare. And by the end of this episode, you'll understand why every forward-thinking healthcare organization needs at least one. Let's start by breaking down the key responsibilities of a chief AI officer in healthcare. These are the areas that they're really making waves. So let's have a look at them. AI strategy development. The CAIO is the captain of the AI ship, charting the course for the entire organization. So very much a strategic, strategic role. They're responsible for developing comprehensive AI strategy that really that, that aligns with the overall goals of the healthcare provider, the, the actual business side of things. This isn't just about implementing some cool tech, if you like. It's about identifying where AI can truly make a difference in patient, patient care and, and, and e quite frankly, even operational efficiency and things like research. Imagine a hospital where AI predicts patient admissions, allowing for optimal staffing levels, or AI systems that analyzes thousands of research papers to suggest a novel treatment approaches or novel ways of dealing with the same problem. The CAIO is a visionary behind these initiatives, prioritizing projects and allocating resources to where they'll have the biggest impact. So it is really more about impact than just doing things. Data governance, governance and infrastructure. So now we all know that the AI uh, is a good is good when the when it's trained on well and good data, but it's really the uh, the AI officers. Uh, job to to look at the corporate governance side of things the quality of data the accessibility the interoperability across systems this means setting up the infrastructure to collect to store and even process vast amounts of healthcare data and boy is there a lot um things like um making sure that the you have the right foundation laid for ai and for ai sec, uh, success in the uh, in an organization AI project management. I mean, if you look at uh, project management, most projects fail if they're not properly planned. So they're in charge of overseeing AI projects from conception to deployment. So this involves things like leading cross-functional teams, uh, managing timelines and ensuring that the AI solutions are tested, they're developed, they are, are iterated and obviously implemented effectively. It's a bit like conducting an orchestra. The CAIO needs to make sure that the different parts of the organization are working in harmony to create AI solutions that are truly in sync. Ethical and regulatory compliance is really another key area, and it's a big one. Healthcare is highly regulated in an, as an industry, and when you add these things in the mix, then they get very much more complex. The CAIO is responsible for navigating this tricky terrain and they develop ethical guidelines for AI use, ensure compliance with regulations like HIPAA and GDPR, and address the thorny issues of privacy and security when it comes to patient data. It's a challenging task, but absolutely crucial for maintaining trust and really to avoid the... <laughs> potentially disastrous legal issues that come with with mistakes stakeholders engagement is is another uh, key area where the caio can can operate this is where collaboration with clinical leaders and ai and, and using use cases to educate staff and and making sure that uh, relationships with ai and vendors and 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 so on are all in place this role is about sort of bridging the the gap between technical and the clinical worlds. The CAIO uh, needs to speak the language of both data scientists and doctors, translating complex AI concepts into terms that, that resonate with healthcare professionals and, and make it more practical and, and accessible. Performance monitoring. 
Last but not least, the CAIO needs to keep a close eye on how AI systems are performing. This means uh, establishing KPIs to measure the impact of AI on clinical outcomes and, and operations continuously and making sure these are continuously evaluated in terms of performance, accuracy, and implementing these processes really as an, on, as an ongoing business model that's developing and, and constant improvement are, is br uh, brought about regularly. So the CAIO is responsible for providing the return on investment of all AI initiatives and ensuring um, that they continue to evolve and improve over time. Now we've covered the responsibilities. Let's, let's talk about the benefits of a CAIO and especially in healthcare. So let me tell you about these benefits and how they are game change, changing. Improved uh, patient care is, is really a big one. And AI has got, a, got the potential to dramatically enhance patient care in numerous ways. We're talking about improved di diagnostic accuracy, early di disease uh, detection, and personalized treatment recommendations. What about streamlined care or coordination across multiple areas? Imagine an AI system that can predict which patients are at the risk for certain conditions, allowing for preventative interventions, or um, maybe even an AI uh, virtual assistant that helps patients uh, manage chronic conditions from home. These are all kinds of innovations that the chief AI officer can bring to life in an organization. What about operational efficiency? Health organizations um, often are complex beasts, and, and there's a lot of inefficiencies that, 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 that can exist. The CAIO often works on operational improvements using AI, using automations, and administrative tasks being optimized to, to, to really re, uh, use the resources available and use them well. Think about an AI system that op uh, optimizes operating room schedules, reducing wait times, and improving utilization of, of the equipment and that that you already have. What about supply chain management and, and ensuring that medical supplies are always available when they're needed? These efficiencies can, can translate into significant costs and, and a significant cost savings and improve patient experiences. Advanced research capabilities in AI is, is really one of the, the special areas, and this is supercharging the medical research these days. And if we look at uh, how we can accelerate things like drug discovery and improve analysis of large-scale medical data sets and enhance our ability to, to identify patterns and generate new hypotheses, this could lead to breakthrough treatments, uh, deeper understanding of thing, of diseases and, and, and why people get ill, and ultimately, better patient outcomes. The chief AI officer plays a crucial role in identifying these research opportunities and ensuring that organizations, they, they really have the capabilities to pursue them. Competitive advantage is another big one in an increasingly tech-driven healthcare landscape. Organizations with strong AI capabilities have a significant edge. A chief AI officer can position the organization in, as an innovative, tech-driven provider, attracting top talent and potentially opening up new revenue streams through AI-driven services. What about risk mitigation? Another big one. The chief AI officer can help mitigate some of these, some of these key risks and whether it's through improved clinical decision support, enhanced fraud detection, or even just better management of regulatory compliance and all the risks around that. I think the, the chief AI officer can help navigate these, this, this tightrope, these pitfalls. Organizational transformation, oh, this chief AI officer is, is really that, that glue that, uh, that can stick things together and drive culture and promote interdisciplinary collaboration and, and drive the continuous improvement through AI-enabled insights. This really isn't just about implementing technology. It's about transforming an entire organization to be, to be more innovative, uh, to be more efficient, and 
And I think really to be more effective delivering health care, the health care that people really want. So let's wrap up. It's clear that the, the role of the chief AI officer and in healthcare is just really just not just another executive role. It's what I believe is as a catalyst for transformation, a guardian of ethical um, AI use and, and really the, 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 the caretaker for patient outcomes. It's important a role, and and I think the chief AI officers will, will will agree those in the field that they that they lead the way to an AI enabled future in healthcare. I believe that the chief AI officer um, can help organisations operate more efficiently, pushing boundaries of medical research, and really whether you're a healthcare professional, a patient, or just someone interested in the future of medicine. Keep an eye on this, the development of this role, the chief AI officer. They're shaping a future where AI and healthcare can work hand in hand to create a healthier world for all of us. And that's all today. That's all for today. So if you found this episode insightful, please don't forget to subscribe and leave a review, at least a comment. If you've got questions about AI or um, a health, and you're a healthcare provider and, you, and you're thinking about a chief AI officer, please do get in touch. Please remember as well that the way that healthcare is running and the way that, that, that things are happening in, in the world is driven literally by small incremental continuous steps. And the chief AI officer can help drive that. So there are quite a few responsibilities, and the chief AI officer for me maintains and engages people across multiple fields. So as we wrap up, it's clear that the role of the chief AI officer in healthcare is far more important than just an executive position. It's a catalyst for transformation, a guardian of ethical AI use and, and a key driver of improved patient outcomes. The healthcare organizations that recognize the importance of the role um, and empower their CAI, CAIOs, the chief AI officers, to drive change will be the ones leading the way in the AI-enabled future of healthcare. They'll be delivering better patient out, out, outcomes, better patient care, uh, operating more efficiently and, and really pushing those boundaries of medical research. And humans can take it to a certain point, but imagine the amount of data and the, and, and the, the, the research that can be done by using large language models and also having access to quick access to, to large amounts of data to be able to process uh, research and to, to test hypotheses. So whether, whether you're a healthcare professional or a patient or even just someone interested in the future of medicine, keep an eye on the chief AI officer as a role. They're, they're shaping a future where AI and, and healthcare work hand in hand to, to create a healthier world for all of us. So that's all uh, for today. Thank you so much for, for joining me today. If you found this uh, episode insightful, don't forget to subscribe and leave a review. Have you got any questions about AI uh, in healthcare or, or the role of a CAIO? Um, drop them in the comments below. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, and remember the future of healthcare is being written right now, one line of AI code at a time.